Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a video response for Sammy Thunder. He asked us to show our favorite rookie cards across any sport. So I'm going to take a little bit of a spin on it. Um, as you guys know, if you watch my channel, um, I'm a big rookie card collector. So I would say 75% of my cards are rookie cards. So what I decided to do to kind of change it up a little bit and not show a lot of the same cards I've shown over the last couple months, I decided to take the from any sport approach. And I've got six rookie cards from basketball and football that I wanted to show today. I know I typically only show baseball, so I figured I'd make that change. So without further ado, we'll start with this guy here. So it's the 82 Tops Ronnie Lott NFC All-Pro rookie card. Got this one in the nine. Here's the back of that. Ronnie Lott is, was the man. Next up, 1957 Tops Johnny Unitas. Got this one in a PSA 5. I picked this up at a card show, a local card show, about five months ago or so. Wasn't looking for a football card, but this one, the price the guy was asking on this guy was great. It's a pretty solid looking five. So there's the back of this one. <clears throat> Next up is the 1986 Tops Jerry Rice and an 8. <clears throat> this one's a super clean 8. These are tougher to get in high grade because of that green border, but uh, this one this one looks pretty clean. It's pretty well centered. Oh, there's the back of it. Sorry for all the glare today. All right, so those were the three football cards that I picked. I, I have some more, but I figured I'd go with those three. Those are all, you know, I feel like those are some of the goats, so... Um, went with those, and then um, for basketball, we'll start with the Kobe Bryant rookie. This is 1996 Flair Showcase Row Two, and a back at nine and a half. God, the glare on this one's terrible. Um, but this is a this is a pretty sweet looking card. The, the the photo quality, the overall quality of these Flair cards is is pretty solid. <clears throat> Just got that one. Next up. One of the best basketball players of all time. Got the 2003 Topps Crumb LeBron James rookie in a PSA 9. Let's see if I could get it without all this glare because this one's, yeah, I guess nothing I could really do about the glare on that. Sorry, guys. But yeah, I got that. There's the back of it. This one's super clean. And I bought I bought this one back in 2019 before the market really started going crazy. And when it was at its peak, I literally, this card, it was almost stupid how valuable that card was. I'm almost glad it came back down to earth. People that were buying it back then in like 2020, early 2021, I think are gonna take big, big hits on that. And that's too bad. Um, and then the number one non-baseball card in my collection, the GOAT, 86 Fleer Jordan and a PSA 8. Absolutely love this card. It's one of the cards when I was a kid I wanted. I, I typically, when I was a kid, just wanted baseball cards. With it. I'd always wanted this guy, though. This is such a sweet-looking card. It's so nostalgic to me. And it's, you know, when you look at lists of the greatest cards in the card-collecting hobby, this card's always in the, you know, always on that top 10 list. So I was just super pumped to pick this up. I bought this one, luckily, before the market really took off as well, or else... Uh, yeah, I would have paid a huge premium for it. This thing, I think, at the peak in the market again, like that LeBron was a little absurd. But, uh, yeah, so I wanted to show those cards. Those are my favorite non-baseball rookie cards for the Sammy Thunder uh, video response. Sammy's got an awesome, awesome site. This is a fun VR. Um, if you haven't subscribed to Sammy, please subscribe to him. If you haven't subscribed to mine, please subscribe to mine if you like the video. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon.